Hello everyone and welcome to Piano Vault. This is Emma Newman. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how imagination and singing affects our piano playing and helps overcome some technical problems that cannot be solved by traditional way of practicing. We need to develop this feeling of free energy within our body to enrich our sound, to make it less harsh and more powerful and free and also it really benefits our hand because um, it will be easy to keep your hands relaxed while playing and if student master this technique uh, and he can sustain this feeling while playing then uh, he can play easily any long fast and loud pieces and we know that this is the most challenging one so he can play it easily with no hand fatigue before playing to eliminate uh, any stiffness while playing is that as soon as as soon as students start playing something more advanced than just two notes in slow tempo their body hands wrist hands head will get stiff again <laughs> or or else they will just like playing everything uncontrollably and everything would sound with very poor quality after student master this uh, feeling of free energy within the body, uh, they know the correct posture that helps to uh, um, to let this energy freely flow to the keyboard. They know how to gather this energy before playing uh, and bring it to the keyboard. Then they sustain this energy while playing through singing with weight. And a um, long time ago, I made a two minutes video to show exactly how to feel this free energy and gather it before playing. So if you're really interested, just go ahead and click here and enjoy. So let me give you an example how I'm singing without weight and with weight. So let's talk about this interval. I'm going to sing first with intonation, with resistance. Um, please check my previous video about... Uh, finger muscles if you don't know why we sing with resistance so it will sound this way now I'm gonna gather weight and sing it with weight and you will see you will hear how it changes the sound Falls of air, falls of energy, falls of free energy. So, <laughs> why would consider that? And my voice changes now. <laughs> I like it, by the way. So, why would consider that if something changes our singing, that would also change our playing? Because the energy of breathe, of breathing between notes while singing, directly affects the energy of. Uh, our body, of our muscles, of our fingers, of our hands. And so, 
if I am singing every interval this way, that's how exactly I will let myself to sustain this feeling while playing. So every time I would feel this free energy while singing internally and every time my body would uh, respond to this immediately and that's how I would sustain that uh, free energy within my body. Let's see now how uh, this type of singing affects our playing. So I'm gonna play again this interval. I'm imagining two notes with movement, I'm imagining with glissando, I'm gonna move my wrist, I'm playing with absolutely relaxed hands. Now, while playing, I'm gonna sing internally with the same sensation of weight as I just show you by singing out loud. Uh, again, I'm gonna give you an example first without weight, then with weight. So without weight, with weight. secret that uh, I feel so much freedom in my arm right you could even see that so even if I play in the fast tempos I still can uh, sustain this feeling of free energy within my body within my hands within my fingers while playing so because I'm intonating this way every single interval uh, so now I'm playing first without intonation and weight, just like a robot making uh, just movements and imagining sound. And next time I'm going to play with intonation and weight. first and then with intonation and you will see the difference so this is without notice how it changes your intonation and playing. And going a little bit further, I just want to say that this uh, weight technique really benefits your fortissima and pianissima, basically all the dynamics. Uh, so your fortissima wouldn't be harsh anymore, it, it would become very full and powerful. Um, if I want to play, for example, scale... Okay, let's again, I'm gonna play scale without weight, imagining very loud. Pianissima will 
be perfectly controlled because you don't play pianissimo with fingers. If you play pianissimo with fingers, it's empty. And very poor controlled. What you do, you play pianissimo with weight. And the amount of weight is the same as in fortissima. Yes, but this uh, weight is different by its quality. It's like different energy of weight, I guess. I don't know how to explain. So if I'm playing the same scale with weight, Don't even think about my fingers, so it's perfectly controlled. <laughs> That's it, it's that simple again, and in my next video I will show you how to reach very accurate dynamics when you still can play with loose hands, but at the same time you can perfectly uh, control your tone and play with good quality tone. So thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.